otherwise uh, in this tutorial uh, we will discuss uh, how to manage the common of the part on the website uh, so in our website you can see this is a common part like uh, this one uh, the same section is also appeared on the services page you can see uh, services page uh, the same section has been appeared at the bottom of the page so if there are um, same section are appeared for all the pages so in that case we will use a uh, template part so that we no need to code everywhere we can uh, we can use a separate folder where we can add a separate file and there we can add a custom code and we will manage it from there so this is our common part in the website and, and we will manage this section using uh, template parts so how we can manage this section using template part so let's um, go to a file jila so you can see this is our theme folder themes wordpress dev child this is our theme folder so you can see there are multiple folders page template js images font css so here we can create another folder called template parts like this template template parts okay so we just created a folder called template parts now we will create a file called uh, common part dot php or something like whatever you need so we are going to create a new file called common part dot php so this is the php file just created common part dot php and we will use that so we don't need to code everywhere so can see this is our services.php file this is the section and the same section has been also appeared on the homepage.php so this section so we are not going to code again we will add this code in a single php file so let's do that so this is our common part.php just edit this part Okay. I'm just opening this file common part.php file so you can see it's open it's blank right so uh, just go to services.php or homepage.php whatever just you can cut this code and paste it over a uh, common part.php file right so this code this section has been um, appeared over there right now and uh, we will manage uh, the common part using common part.php file okay just save this one it's updated now the same we need to we need to connect the common.php file in the home page so how we can connect this so there is a, so the folder name is template parts right the syntax would be like this uh, php get template part so here you can add first folder name the folder name is template part where we added common part.php file so the folder name is template part right template parts so just copy this folder name and paste it over there so this is our templates folder name now stress now we need to check the what is our file name so file name is a common part.php so this is the prefix um, and before um, slash symbol the so common so the syntax would be like this -M -M -O -N, and add comma here 
again single inverted comma and this is the part so like this and that's it so this is our folder name template parts and this is the file name file is for common and part so this is the syntax we need to add over the PSV file for the common part section so I'm just going to save this file so and as the same section also in the services.psv file so we just need to copy this code just copy this code and paste it over the yeah, services.php file so that's it just save the file and update refresh this page so you can see we just refresh this page services page also go to the home.php i mean home page you can see the section is now here so now we can check this uh, common template part is working or not so just go to file common part.php and you can add anything like this for checking purposes that this common uh, common dot part.php file is working or not save this okay Now just refresh the page. So now you can see it's working. Now we can also dynamic this section. What uh, as per one need, we can use advanced custom field also, and we can all we can make this uh, section dynamic using who is custom widget whatever we need. It. So using this method, we can easily create a template part. Can easily Mm, connect the PHP file using um, template parts for the common section. That's it.